All right, guys, so before we get into the video of me explaining how we got all twisted up in the corner there, um, well, into today's video, I'm going to explain to you how I got into that situation by showing you Google Maps on my iPad. All right, so, do this the best I can. I picked up a tractor right around this area, right? And my trucker GPS, my Garmin diesel, which is four semis, and if it has, there's somewhere it doesn't want you to go that's, you know, not semi-related, it'll say the road will be black or something like that. And that wasn't the case. So I came down this road here, and it's telling me to make a left here and follow this loop up and pop out somewhere over here. I guess I should have zoomed out a little bit and checked where it was sending me, but I didn't because it usually will... If there's something that doesn't want me to drive down, it'll say don't drive down that way. And if I would have been coming from this direction over here or this direction over here, there are signs that say don't go that way because of the situation I got into, but there were not on the route I was going. So I followed around until I get to this first turn here. And it was tight, don't get me wrong, but I went around it. So we get to the next one. This is one we had issues on. This gravel right here is a massive drop off. It's like 10 or 15 feet. And that's where we had the issue there. And then if you keep going up the road, there's another one. And that's where I slid the axle. We were able to get around that turn, but I was also able to turn up into this gravel up in that area to help me get around it. After that, that was pretty much home free, so. Let's get into this. Well, guys, I messed up. I'll be the first one to admit that I messed up really freaking bad. Really bad. So here we are. This is the current situation. Got some police down there keeping traffic from coming and, you know, getting in the way. And uh, here's what happened. So I'm driving down the highway and following my Garmin trucker GPS, right? And it tells me to come down this road, which is Highway 61 here in, I'm not sure, I'll, I'll put it in the video somewhere in Tennessee. And um, didn't see anything. Usually on the Garmin GPS, it says, don't go here, don't go there. I didn't say nothing about this road and I was making my turn and I was like, oh, this ain't good. It's off the pasture side, so you already can't really see much. And uh, so I stop because the trailer's falling off of the ditch. And I go to back up and the trailer high centers and kicks the whole rear end of the trailer around. So yeah, here we are. Not good. Truck's okay. She's a little twisted, but should be just fine. But uh, trailer's high centered, rear tire's off the ground. Hopefully this trailer's okay. It should be okay. If it's not, then I'm just gonna have to buy it. Which kind of sucks, but it's the only trailer that works for me right now. <laughs> so this is the situation I'm in. All right, so here we are on this side. Like I was saying, the tires are completely off the ground. And what happened was, I came around this corner, and you could see where the tires were on the asphalt. And from when I decided to back up because it was high centered, it swung the whole rear end of the trailer around out into the ditch and became not on the ground anymore. Our truck really isn't twisted. It's only got the back tires off the ground a little bit because the trailer is kind of like picking it up. So truck's gonna be just fine. Hopefully the rotator or big tow truck will get here soon and pick out the back of the trailer. And, uh, get us back on our way. Trailer should be just fine too, just high centered. Hey, there's our tow truck right there. <laughs> oh Lord, that's a big one too. Well, that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> I thought of it happens all the time though. What you think? Oh, I'm afraid to think. Usually, people run right in there. 
Here we are from the bottom side. No bueno. Vic, I might have to buy your trailer from you, pal. Hope not, but might have to. Freaking tow truck's a beast. Six by six. This tow truck ain't no joke, man. Oh, yeah. Uh, Axle Tech front end in it. Oh, Freightliner. <laughs> this is going to be expensive. He said we might as well get breakfast. All right, so they are booming this thing out. Not sure what their plans are yet, but I'm sure they're going to figure it out. Old hood's flexing a little bit. Frame's flexed a little bit. Hopefully she be okay. I know a lot of you guys are gonna give me absolute hell for this, but you know what? I thought about not posting this video, but I don't really have anything to hide for you guys. We all make mistakes. I made a mistake. I just stopped before it got uh, really bad. Shout out to the uh, police department slash sheriff's department for coming out and uh, stopping traffic and making sure I was okay and my dad was okay. Yeah, it's very surreal for sure. All right, here we go. They're gonna pull on a little bit. Hopefully my truck's okay. Yikes, this is very nerve wracking. I'm gonna want you in there with your foot on the brake. Okay. Yikes. Move the truck forward. So I'll have let off the brake. reposition the truck up in here I guess in the circle or something all right I'll be honest with you guys this might be my uh, coolest video to date I don't know it's definitely not cool for what's going on but this is pretty dang interesting that's for sure but uh scary at the same time I'm sweating yikes Dude, this freaking freight line this thing is sick though wish I could have seen this truck on different terms I don't know what to do. All right, so he's repositioning and repositioning his chain. I'm gonna keep my face out of it and keep you guys focused on the action. Hi, hi, hi. Oh, now we're gonna try to pick it up. See what happens, I guess. Hopefully the truck don't do nothing stupid. He's on the brake again. Yep, he's on the brake. Hey, we're getting some uh, weight off the ramps. That's good. Yeehaw. Yikes. Sketchy. Good golly, Miss Molly. Oh, there it goes again. Back off the ground. Hey, we're getting somewhere. All right. All right, folks, so our tow truck driver, Grossom's Easy Tow. Shout out to these guys, they're here in like 30 freaking minutes. They're repositioning to uh, get a 
better hook on this thing and get me back up where I need to be so I can finish this freaking turn, hopefully. I brought, dang, this guy is off-roading this unit. This is a six by six Freightliner. Sounds like it's got big Cummins in it. So yeah, he said it's a 2009 truck and the tow body on it's like two years old. All right, let's get this thing out of here. One way it's worth better than other than okay with it. All right. Yikes. Pick it up. Can he roll back a little bit? You mean pull forward some? No, tell him to roll back and get you to see what that does. Alright, so we're backing up so we can pick up on the trailer because we got into the box a little bit. Just the brackets bent. I'll be able to straighten that out. I'm not too worried about that. But, uh, yeah, I think he's going to try to pick it up here and pull it up some. All right, round two. Throw the outriggers down the ground and uh, see what we can figure out. This video is gonna be stupid long. I can already feel it now. Sorry I'm talking so much. My nerves are just going crazy. <sighs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. box up out of the gravel here. The ramps are pretty much free and clear. Oh, there we go. We're getting somewhere. Barely, kind of. Alright, so I wasn't able to film. I had to call my dad tell him what to do, but we kept holding the brakes down we've got the box up out of the gravel here and it didn't get bent believe it or not just that little reinforcement thing there we'll be able to straighten that out not a big deal uh, trailer pretty much not high centered anymore so now he's gonna rehook or back up or do something different i'm not sure what's going on we're about to figure it out all right here we go all right we're just going back down Screw this county pavement that uh, they could have made this road a little bit better and gave us some warning signs. I'm about to drive back out here down this road and show you guys what it looks like in the daylight. There we go. Draw that baby in. My trailer. Save my baby. Oh, Lord. So freaking sketch. So freaking sketchy. So these fellers are burying their truck up here in the ditch. Just for me. so that we can get a little other bite on this trailer and get it up here and see if I can pull on around with it. Put it in four low, Terry. Truck move. 
sorry for all the filming and nothing, nothing happening, but stuff's happening. All right, last ditch effort to get this thing up on the road for me to make this turn or our tow truck buddies are stuck. Gotta watch that box on the inside there. Hopefully you can pick it up high enough to miss it. Oh Lord. <laughs> He's taking pictures. You know, everybody told me to keep these axles slim. You got weight on the back. You put all the weight on the trailer. Put all the axles back. And here I am. I guarantee you, if they were all the way together, I probably wouldn't be in this position. Well, the box is gonna be okay. We're gonna be on the asphalt here in a second, folks. Hey, we're getting somewhere. Almost. All right, so he's pulling the boom in now. And uh, shout out to the sheriff's office for blowing me their stream light. Mine's in the truck dead. Now we're gonna try to get this thing over as close as we can to this truck here. Give me the best chance of getting out of this thing. Yikes. All right, we're on the asphalt now. It should, in theory, follow it around. In theory. Tell you what, once I get straight, I'm gonna get these axles slid together. The heck with having these axles spread ever freaking again. All right, so we got Dad in the truck. He's gonna try to go easy with it. Rears are locked in, whole nine yards. This is sketch. I gotta do the next turn. So supposedly, some of this stuff is poison ivy. I don't know. One of the fellow officers up here said it is. I wiped myself down with some trucker wipes. And some, something do be stinking out here, like skunk or something. I don't know what it is. Let's see if these fellas will follow, follow me up around. I'm gonna try to pull up a little bit and slide my axle. And uh, make this thing turn a little bit sharper. Trailer's in good shape though, nothing damaged. Right here's where I got high centered a little bit. Even where they put the chain on here, it didn't hurt nothing. The only thing I've got to do, that bracket got bent a little bit, so we'll get it fixed up. All in all, about 30, 45 minutes, these guys had us fixed up, maybe not even that long. Took them longer to get here. Old boy tow truck said, he's surprised the load didn't come off. I told him, I said, sir, we got proper load securement on here. Definitely in a better mood. The truck ain't flipped over and nothing's broke. Definitely can't complain about nothing. Well, we were about to hit the road. The Mr. Police officer said, turn our CB on channel 19. He's gonna escort us the rest of the way to, to safety. Thank heavens. Our box did get a little tweaked up, the uh, bracket is crap broke there but the box is good so i could probably bend that back down get it all straightened out and uh yeah everything else is in good shape no other issues just that right there
good road to ride our motorcycles down. Yeah. Almost flipping my truck over and all that was definitely a lesson learned, but we're here in the shop actually servicing the semi. You guys are gonna see that in the next video. Um, but I'm gonna run through here and kind of show you guys everything's okay. And we're actually getting alignment on it too. But like I said, all of be in the next video, but for now, let's check the truck out after our little situation here we just went through and uh, make sure she's okay. So I've already checked the trailer out. There's nothing wrong with the trailer other than that bracket for the box has been a little bit. We'll get that straightened back out and welded. But um, the truck was twisted a little bit, or this side of the tires were off the ground, but I don't see any visible problems. Probably when we put on the alignment rack, we will know tomorrow. You guys just have to check back tomorrow and uh, go from there. So, but I don't see anything wrong with the truck. No issues anywhere. So I think we're okay. Just lesson learned to uh, do a lot of research if a road looks a little sketchy before you turn. A lot of my viewers that are watching videos, guys, aren't subscribed. So make sure you guys smash that subscribe button, turn that notifications bell on, and uh, drop a comment down below. I'm sure there'll be a ton of comments, a lot of hate. Hey, guys, I learned my lesson. Um, it is what it is. I'm glad I was able to put this video out there and uh, not hide anything from you guys. So talk to you later. Peace.